boy, howdy boys and girls, men and women of all ages and walks of life. Welcome once again to the built inside of the garage over here. Hope you're having a wonderful and a blessed day. I hope your new year has started out really great too. Here at Randy's Guitar Shop. Thanks, Robert. I want to say that I love you all for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe to them if you enjoy them. Share them with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Leave, leave comments. I need comments on this guitar. Check it out. It's not anywhere near done, but I've had to kind of do a basic assembly on it now. And I was real hesitant, not fearful, but hesitant about drilling through this body because I have I've had to do that one other time and it didn't turn out perfect. You know, it's not like a fender. You turn over and see the string ferrules where the strings through the body are, and they're just right on line. Haven't accomplished that yet. It'll work, and if you don't look at it real close, you know, a foot away, you can't tell the difference. But anyways, guys, I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm still kind of a, after what, 12 guitars? I'm still an amateur. That's pretty sad, isn't it? <laughs> anyways, guys, would you like to take a look at it? Right. Show you some of the features. We'll start at the headstock. Gee, there's my name. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you like it. I'm really ecstatic with how it's turning out. I know I say that every time, but you know, I am happy. This is one of those pick guards that I ordered out of Nova Scotia to be custom cut for this particular guitar. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this has been really scooped out right here. I did that, so to be more playable up here, it's not perfect, but you know, it's better than access than a normal fender would be. And this says number eight on my plate, but this is about like number 12. But I built a couple of three, maybe four neck throughs, and those don't have a plate on them. So anyways, guys, these are all aftermarket pieces. This has got heavy duty cloth wiring in it. Uh, I still have to figure out how to completely wire it up. I'm hoping these pickups sound good. They're supposed to be good. This is a this is an oil finish, gun oil, true oil they call it from uh, Birchwood Casey. I think I showed it to you before. Let's get that in there. It's not cooperating. Anyways, guys. Yes, this is good old stuff. This is great stuff, especially for this type of a guitar. This is only the second one I've ever done with an oil finish. As you know, the very first one I ever built, the SG, was a gun oil finish also with crimson guitar stains and I used crimson guitar stains on this puppy too. I can't say enough about crimson. They are fabulous. Uh, ben over there at Crimson Guitars uh, in the UK. Uh, shipping is quite quick, costs a little money depending on what you're buying, but he has it all. He has custom guitars, guitar kits, he's got the whole deal. Anyways guys, glad I scooped this out and that's one of the reasons I have to have a different I could have modified the black pick guard but I like this pick guard anyways guys um, that's what's going on in the old shop these days I am still working on this dual sonic as you can see I've got it kind of set up a little bit you know I, I think I've showed this to you before um, now I got a crazy wild pick guard for this one which I'm not going to show you until it's almost together anyways guys uh, that's what's going on and that is number 63. I just made it like yesterday uh, for your listening and dining pleasure, of course. Uh, anyways, a little rockier than I usually do, right? <laughs> anyways, guys. Oh, by the way, I was been yapping about it, a guest star that is going to happen almost immediately. So uh, that's all set up, ready to go. I don't know how much of it will get filmed or how much of it will get, you know, shown on my channel, but it will get shown, some of it at least. Anyways, guys, let's just take another look. Oh, what the heck, you know? Let's get this body and pick guard.
anyways guys once again thanks so much for watching my channel I don't know if I said so earlier but I did I have I've gotten one more subscriber uh, it's slowly creeping up and one is way better than none so you guys share these videos I hope uh, uh, I hope that gets a few other people going on anyways leave a comment tell me what you think of this thing so far it's got to come back apart I'm going to do some more oiling on it and I've got to figure out all the wiring. The wiring's in there, but it's not connected, so I'll, i got to solder it all up and make sure I put everything in the right spot. Anyways guys, once again I love you for watching my channel and uh, I'm going to see you here pretty soon in another video and we'll just keep working on this and this. And uh, you know, I sometimes I wish I wouldn't work on more than one at a time and I've told you that before. but. I get excited and you know when I'm especially with this oil finish I've been waiting you know because it takes a long time you got you can do maybe two coats a day on one surface and you have to turn it over the next day do more and I've got maybe eight on here heavy coats and it needs a lot more than that and this is not a uh, gonna try I'm not gonna try to make it a, a glass smooth finish that's not what this is about you can feel the grain but not a lot but you can feel it. You can see it when you look in certain lights. But that's exactly what I wanted on this. Okay, guys. I guess I've said enough. Have a wonderful and a blessed week. Heck, have a great new year. Don't forget to pray for your country. Don't forget to pray for the world. Don't forget to pray for your friends that need medical attention. I've got them all over the place. And I'll bet a couple of you guys out there have people that need medical attention too. So our thoughts and our prayers need to go. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.